It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cardinals and the Panthers. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. Hi again everyone, I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. just outside the goal line. Arizona's offense takes the field, and no surprises, the man that's guiding them, the pro bowler in his fourth season at the wheel of this offense, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray had his Arizona Cardinals cruising in 2021, leading them to 11 wins, despite sharing a division with both of the NFC title game participants. It was also Arizona's first playoff appearance since 2015. Like his team, Murray's improved each of the last three seasons and would have set career highs across the board had he not missed a couple of starts. Ooh. Now the NFL's leader in rushing touchdowns last year is James Conner. 12 yards on the gain, a great start for this offense. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Oh, 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 big oh, run and a first down. That's oh, pretty much oh, practice oh, into play. Oh, it's excellent execution to get things started. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. <laughs> Again, a run with Connor. And taken down just shy of the 40. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And the Cardinals are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he costs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back, drives down, kicks the game winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. On first and ten is counter. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Ooh. 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Murray a give. This is Connor. Forty-five yards rushing for him now to this point. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That was a nice grab. Just couldn't get the feet down, right? You need that toe-tap sequence there. Whatever size shoe he's wearing, probably need about a half size smaller to complete that one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll run here with Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor, a five-yard touchdown run. And the cards are on the board first here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. The Cardinals setting out to kick this one away, and off we go. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Carolina's offense ready for its first possession, and at the helm, their new QB brought in via trade this offseason. His fifth year now in the NFL, former number one pick, Baker Mayfield. And if there's a quarterback in the NFL who didn't need any extra motivation, it was certainly Baker Mayfield because this young man already has a permanent chip on his shoulder to prove the doubters wrong. Being replaced and then traded from Cleveland, the team who took him number one overall, it only added considerable fuel to his fire. Now in Carolina, his entire focus is proving that he can be an elite QB and silencing all the noise. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Charlotte, and it's the Panthers with the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw complete there to Moore. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, here's Mayfield. That'll be good. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but... I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Connor up the middle. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Cliff Kingsbury here on fourth down trots out the field goal unit. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble and then turning that into three points. Yeah, and more than happy to accept any mistakes the other side is willing to make. No problem. You turn it over, we'll take that, and we'll use it to expand our lead. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though? When they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step, because they didn't cost their team a touch. Try to get it to Anderson, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy, and the Cards are going to take possession of the football. Partner, I think this is going to ride very simply, because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here into the hands of Moore. And he's brought down at the 34, call it a gain of four. Sometimes it pays to be lucky rather than good. That was not even the intended receiver on that pass. But still able to haul it in for the reception. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Zach Ertz, 34 yards. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a Zach Ertz touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Throwing again on second and 10. Mayfield. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Hey, I'm all about defense forcing plays and, and, and getting takeaways. 
but an interception and two fumbles in their last three offensive possessions. Time to readjust. <laughs> yeah, they, you, you can't just give all the credit to the defense on that. They've got to look in the mirror and take a blame themselves and figure out how to not do it anymore. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. The throw over the middle taken in, and he's going to get this down near the 25. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Marquise Brown, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cardinals continue to pull away here in this first half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Now the try here for the pulling after. And the lead is now 24. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Holding. Holding. Offense. 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 We can't have that. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now Mayfield. And that is incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. He's got room past the 30, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. So that challenge is a successful one. A first down throw for Mayfield. It's caught. It's Chenault again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Mayfield with it once more. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first and 10, Mayfield. And completes it once more to Anderson. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. 
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And his kick is good. He just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Arizona. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. Each team making their final preparations for this second half. We're about ready, too, as we'll send you back up to Charlotte and rejoin Brandon and Charles at Bank of America Stadium. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in the second half. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. But the Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Mayfield, connection made with Chanel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. A nice little juke. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That play could never get started thanks to the defensive effort of Shaq Thompson. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league, 
they don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Former first rounder Derek Brown living up to the bearing on that stop. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty, but when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Murray now. Screen pass to Connor. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Caught that one from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Throwing now is Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you have three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. You've got a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. Cliff Kingsbury here on fourth down trots out the field goal unit. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, after that last sequence, they're sitting pretty comfortably. They force the fumble, get the field goal, and expand on that lead here in the second half. And don't expect them to rest on their laurels after that kick either. They'll keep their effort up until the final whistle. They don't consider any lead safe. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now the offense for the Panthers here getting the football back. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Touchdown, Carolina! D.J. Moore, 75 yards. And the Panthers are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Mayfield going to try to throw for the two. Flush to his right. And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This will be fielded inside the five. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. 
It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 73 yards rushing now for Connor and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front. Say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come run up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he'll get it inside the 35. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Connor. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They run behind center with Connor. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A give running right is counter. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's counter. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the eight. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day
And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Try to get it to Anderson, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They'll start on the ground here on first down, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> as this game unfolded, they were doing all the dictating, right? They dealt the offense exactly how it was going to go down today. So you saw them deflate with every series, didn't you? Every time they ran onto the field, it was slower and slower to get to the football because they just felt like if we go out there, we're just going to turn it over anyway. So it was really, really a stellar performance.